Oh hi, and Merry Christmas. This is my favourite time of the year. And one of my favourite things about Christmas is Christmas songs. And most of the best Christmas songs are German, aren't they? Uh, o Tannenbaum, Stille Nacht, 99 Luftballon. But my favourite Christmas song is actually a French Christmas song, and that's the 12 Days of Christmas. I don't know whether it is in French. But the reason that the 12 Days of Christmas is the best Christmas song of all is because it's full of numbers, isn't it? And because it's full of numbers, that means we can do lots of maths with the song, which is my favourite thing to do with a song. So the, first, the thing that appealed to me most about 12 Days of Christmas as a kid uh, was which gift in the 12 Days of Christmas do you get the most of? Because that is the most important thing about Christmas, isn't it? Getting as much stuff as possible. And... I suppose, well, you know the song that I'm talking about, right? So, uh, you know, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, all of that sort of nonsense. We won't sing it for now. Uh, but which gift do you get the most of? Now, you might be tempted to go for partridges in a pear tree, right? Because you get one of those every day. So what I've got here is a little rectangle. If you imagine each of these is a gift, and because I'm a mathematician, uh, all the gifts can look the same. The block just represents a gift. Uh, so we, what we've got here is 12 lots of 1, a rectangle that's 1 by 12. So over the whole 12 days of Christmas, you get 12 uh, partridges and pear trees. But you can instantly beat this quite quickly, right? Because uh, if we move on to uh, turtle doves, which is the second gift, um, you get two of these every day. Okay, you don't get them every day. But you get two of those every day that you do get them. Uh, so that's 11 days where you get two turtle doves. 11 twos is 22. But then if we move it up to French hens, again, you have to lose a day for those. Uh, but you get three of those every day that you get them. So this is a 3 by 10 rectangle, uh, which I can build eventually if I've got enough blocks. I had to steal these from my little boy this morning, so I'll have to put them back again tonight. But there we go, a 3 by 10 rectangle for French hens. You get 30 of those. And, uh, but where does it stop? Is this rectangle going to keep getting bigger and bigger? You might be able to imagine that if we keep building this and growing it, it's just going to go the other way. It's going to be really tall uh, but narrow, and that's going to be no good either. So it's going to hit some kind of optimum halfway between the two. And where is that? Well, if we think about the rectangles we were forming, the first one was 1 by 12, the second one was 2 by 11, the second one was 3 by 10, and so those two numbers that I'm multiplying, the first ones are going up by 1, the second one's coming down by 1. So if I call the first one n, and then I've just got to work out what that sequence that goes 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 is. And it turns out that that is 13 with the first number taken off, so 13 minus n. So the sequence for these is n times 13 minus n. And we want to know when that's as big as possible. When does the rectangle get as big as possible? Well, you might have noticed over my shoulder here, I made a graph of this earlier. So along the x-axis here, we've got uh, the gift, the gift that you're on. OK, so this is partridge in pear trees, turtle doves, French hens, etc., going along the x-axis. And uh, the vertical axis here is how many of those gift you get in total by the end of the song. This is not a hashtag uh, for anyone under 30. This is uh, the number of gift uh, that you get. So, uh, and this is what it looks like, you see. And you can see there, there's actually a draw, despite my picture not quite showing it, there's a draw for best, which is the sixth and seventh gift, because uh, six times seven is the same as seven times six, uh, which is 42. That's coincidental, there's no deeper meaning to that. But 42 gifts is the best uh, that you're ever uh, going to get, uh, which is good news for geese are laying and swans are swimming salespeople of imaginary Christmas song land. Uh, you might be tempted to draw a curve through these, a nice uh, parabola, nice quadratic graph going through those, but we can't do those uh, because it's a Diophantine uh, problem. It can only take whole number uh, solutions. <clears throat> there is no six and a half gift that you can get six and a half times uh, to get 42.25 gifts or whatever that is. Uh, so there you go. If you're wondering, those are the best gifts to go for. Now, I can't believe we got this far through the video without at least having a bit of a sing-song, so 
Uh, you know, we're all familiar with this song. Um, <clears throat> on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Sing along at home. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. It helps if you know it. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the this is quite tiresome, isn't it? And this song is going to go on for a long t time. I was meant to get this video down to about 10 minutes as well. So really, we need a quicker way of getting to the end, don't we? A mathematician doesn't want to go through the whole thing. A mathematician wants to say, how many gifts do you get on the nth day? So this is what we're going to work out next. Now. If we think about just any given day, let's say the third day, the third day of Christmas, what you get uh, on the third day of Christmas is you get uh, three gifts uh, and then the two gifts again that you had the previous day and then you get the one gift at the end of that, the partridge in a pear tree, don't you? So this is the third day you actually get six gifts altogether, three plus two plus one. Uh, and this is a, six is a triangular number, as is one, as is three, six, and the next one would be ten. These are triangular numbers, the sum of the natural numbers up to a given point. And usually you'll see the triangular, num triangular numbers drawn like this, kind of an equilateral triangle. Uh, but it's nicer for what I'm going to do to have them as a kind of right-angled isosceles triangle. So this is just the same triangle, of course. So you've got uh, your uh, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. But what we want is a formula where we can say how many gifts do you get on any given day without having to add the four, add the five, add the six, add the seven, etc., which is pretty tiresome. And the neat thing you can do here is you can just take a duplicate of the same triangle, which looks something like this, but then the clever thing is to turn it over like so and put them together like this. And what you form then is a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is very easy to do. This one, because I happen to stop on three gifts, uh, is three by four. So it has a height of three. I would point to that if I could up here. And it has a width of four. And that's because I happen to stop on the third gift. If I'd stopped on the fourth gift, it would be four high and five wide. If I'd stopped one earlier, it would be two high and three wide. So the width is always going to be one more than the height, and the height is whichever gift you've stopped on, or indeed whichever day of the 12 days of Christmas you've stopped on. So the formula for uh, area of a rectangle is simply width times height. It is the day you're on high, and it's the next day wide. Uh, but of course, that's two of the number that we're after. We just want one triangular number. So we're going to do the day you're on times the next day and halve that. And this is the formula for triangular numbers, or the sum of natural numbers up to a point, which is a half n times n plus 1. So next time you're at carol singing, if you want to get quicker to the end of this song and get your money a bit more quickly, uh, you don't really need to sing it right the way through to the end. Um, you can just use that next time. <clears throat> Something like, On the nth day of Christmas my true love gave to me One half times n plus n plus 1 gifts cumulatively. Merry Christmas!